What's up everybody, Sean Fruin here. So this video is on placing space CFM to your diffusers. Um, there's been this workflow run around, starting to become pretty common. Um, this is it right here. So we are going to get our air terminals, get our spaces, get the CFM, find out which ones intersect which spaces. Um, you use that to kind of count and then divide that CFM and then make a list and set that all. This workflow works great, um, really good workflow to learn. But the problem is, as you can see, these CFMs kind of come out like 107 you would never actually see on a job. So this was one of the criticisms I had when trying to um, get people to learn Dynamo. I got told, yeah, but this. So no such thing as problems, only solutions. So here is the solution. Uh, if you see my other scripts, this is the same one. To a point, I just like to clean them up and use design script a lot more. So at this line with the stars is where we start doing something different. So now what we're going to do is we are going to pull out all the CFM and we are going to round that to the 10 spot and then add the remainder to the other diffuser. So as you can see, we have 100, 110, 110 now, 40, 30, 30. 50, 40, and of course this one's still just 100 and 100. So how we did this is right here. Um, first we rounded, and then we're gonna sum those up. And then we are going to find the difference, and then we are gonna replace, add that difference to the first diffuser, and then replace that number in that list to the new number. And then again, flatten that list and set that parameter. So I put this kind of over here. So I thought this part was kind of interesting. So I put it here. There's no Dynamo node that'll let you round to the 10 spot. So to do this, we multiplied it by 0.1 and then multiplied again by 10. And as you can see here, we get the difference. So then we subtract those to get what we need the new diffuser to be. And then we just sub that in. Fixing the thing, we just plug in or do our uh, conversion and then that plugs in and there you go. So yeah, so here's the script. Um, like I said, really good script. If you really understand how to use this one, especially the all indices of, or get all items of indices, uh, you really, it's really a game changer. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.